Okay, guys and girls, thank you for watching another episode of 42 Fishing and Lures. In front of us, we have three swim boats, six and a half inch, designed for Murray Cod. Holy moly, what a surprise! It's going to be good because it's going to catch like your 30, your 40, your 50, your 60, and beyond. This one here's still going to catch your smaller cod, but it's going to be more specifically targeted at your bigger stuff 70 sort of centimeters, 60 centimeters, and beyond. Everyone knows a big lure will catch a small fish for Murray Cod. But, hey, if you can cast a, small, a lighter lure all day over a heavier lure, it's a win. Now, the main focus on this episode is that the way I'm hooking these lures up now and the way they're all rigged up. So if you'll notice, the top lure is one of my original ones. It's got the chin seat in there and it's got a magnet under the belly. I'm now running a swinging chin hook. Again, nice swinging chin hook. Yes, it is going to be much more snaggy, but most of the fishing you're going to be doing, you're not get, it doesn't need to go any more than four or five meters deep anyway when you're retrieving it. And with most half decent snag uh, lure retrievers these days, it gets stuck in four meters of water. It doesn't matter. Now, the reason the lures have actually changed is because Watching LifeScope, looking at videos I've looked at, a lot of research I've been doing, and a gentleman called Daniel Weber, he actually caught the first Murray Cod on one of my lures. He's got a YouTube channel called Weber Fishing. I suggest everyone jump onto that because it's actually a really good channel. Um, he was saying that he uses a Berkeley jig head. Now, the, with the Berkeley jig head, they've got an option to have a chin weight on it, or you can put a hook on it. So he puts a hook on his chin weight, Oh, sorry, he puts a hook on the front of his lure. The reason being is that he said, from watching his live scope, 90% of the fish, well, it's actually even higher than that, he reckons about 95% of the fish will hit from the head. And Murray caught hitting from the head. Swinging chin hook will make a massive difference in the hookup rate. It does have the stinger on the back. This one has... 80 pound wire trace on it with a couple of crimps I've done tests with a lot of mono even up to 100 pound mono sorry for the close range just then it holds up to it it's not going to break in a hurry if you're not too sure on it you can double crimp everything you can use the um, assist hook style with a Dacron leader I'm using the crimps like that purely because it's easy to adjust where you want it to sit if anyone knows it better not to tie so you can have it sitting exactly where you want it to sit let me know because I'd love to know which one it is. I'm not bad with my knots, but apparently not the best. All right, so hope you enjoyed this. Bit of information for people. Again, little swinger, perfect for your flathead, for your mulloway. It's just candy size, really. Perfect sort of mullet size. Six and a half inches, eight and a half inches. These still catch a lot of fish, but the evolution of life you want to make everything as best you can. You want to catch as many fish as you can. So when you're spending $40 on a swim bait, 20 bucks on a swim bait, you take it out for swimming. You get a tiny, tiny little tap, and that's all they are. When a cod hits these swim baits, 90% of the time, it's just a tiny, tiny tick on your line. And you think it's something to sort of tickle on the tail. What's actually happened is they've actually, because they're an implosion feeder, it's come all the way in its mouth and they've thrown it. You might get like a double tick, which means it's come in, it's come out, and something sort of hit somewhere, or maybe the the second tick is the hook in its mouth, like that. And that's when you need to strike and pull it in as hard as you can. Strike to the moon. You cannot strike hard enough in a Murray Cod. You want to get it in the mouth, and you want it to set in hard. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little episode, and I'll talk to you next time. Catch you later, boy. I'm not taking anything away from any other lure on the market. The first Murray Cod I caught over a metre was on a mag draft, and they're famous for having a treble in the belly, sitting with a magnet. They work extremely well, but I do truly believe that you'll get a much better hookup rate on these. Each their own at the end of the day. I hope you enjoyed watching this little episode. If you did, give it a like, jump on, subscribe to the channel, enjoying the fun. Catch you later, guys.